Good afternoon. My name is Richard McLeod, uh, probably better known as the History Hound, and I wanted to talk to you today about a couple of projects that we have uh, coming up in the future. Um, we've been having ads on Facebook and in the papers, but I thought perhaps uh, maybe recording something would be a good idea. Uh, so, hence, here I am to talk to you about some of the projects we have coming up. Uh, in the new market area in the next uh, two or three months. I think the first one that uh, is worth mentioning is the vintage video nights that we've been having at the library. What we've been doing is we've been uh, showing people the videos that we have currently uh, in our library, uh, videos that we've obtained uh, from Rogers Cable dating back to the late uh, 60s. Uh, videos that uh, we've been given by uh, citizens uh, who uh, want their videos to be maintained. Perhaps they're in uh, VHS or Super 8 uh, mode and they want them converted and they want the public to be able to see them, uh, to capture the, uh, the local history, the flavor of the way it was uh, you know, back in the past. And I think it's a, an excellent idea. So I welcome anybody who has any videos uh, that they want to have uh, remastered and uh, want to have shown to the public in general. Uh, we started off uh, very slowly at the library. Uh, I think the first night we had about eight or nine people, uh, very brave people who came out uh, in late December to, uh, to watch our program. But uh, over the last two months, we've grown uh, considerably. And last night, uh, we had a, a turnout of uh, upwards of 40 people, which is terrific. Uh, so, you know, I, I, it'd be nice if uh, in the future, uh, we could get uh, that, those numbers to, to increase uh, every time. It's a great night uh, for people. We, we show the video. We talk about people's remembrances uh, that spring up from the videos. Uh, our next uh, uh, show is on the uh, 8th of February, again at the library. That's uh, 7 p.m. Uh, we go for two hours, uh, and then the library uh, people want to go home, and uh, so we have to sort of shut down. Uh, so the 8th of February and the 21st of February uh, are our February shows. Uh, so I welcome everybody to come out and, and take a look and, uh, and have a good time. I think the people that have attended have had a good time, and uh, as Evans, more and more people are coming uh, every time out. So, you know, I, I welcome you all to come. Next, uh, the next show, which is on the 8th of February, uh, we will be uh, focusing on uh, biographies, and by that I mean uh, videos that we have uh, where we have captured local citizens, uh, many of which are no longer with us, uh, who were interviewed. Uh, either through a program that we've been running, uh, doing oral history recordings, or uh, that we have uh, obtained from Rogers or a private source. Um, it's pretty, I think it's pretty interesting. People seem to like to, to take a look at these videos and to, to get sort of a, a feel for uh, the way things were. Uh, many of the people reminisce about uh, their lives in Newmarket and uh, you know, in the past, in December, we did uh, Alman Campbell. Uh, we've done uh, Wes Plater, who talked about the Wader, uh, Plater family in uh, in Newmarket. Uh, so, you know, we, we have a real variety of people. Uh, and we also do events, and so every second uh, uh, evening, uh, we switch our focus from biographies to events. Uh, the events range everything, everywhere from uh, taking walking tours of Newmarket to driving tours of Newmarket. We take a look at uh, some of the videos that we have of uh, some of the institutions uh, in Newmarket. The uh, you know upcoming uh, in the uh, early part of 2017, we're going to be profiling the uh, the Newmarket Citizens Band. Uh, we took a look at the Ghost Canal last night, uh, which I think people. Uh, you know, sort of appreciated. Uh, we do tackle some uh, events uh, through the uh, through the video nights. Uh, we did Patty Town last night. Uh, we talked about Patty Town, and uh, I think we'll probably revisit that. Uh, we, I have a couple more videos that 
sort of relate to, to that sort of topic. So, you know, we, we show the video and then we have a discussion. Uh, you know, people can tell us their remembrances of Patty Town. Uh, people who have lived in Patty Town. Uh, we, we had one last night who attended and uh, talked about uh, what it was like uh, growing up in Patty Town. So, you know, that's pretty interesting. Another uh, event that we're uh, we're focusing on as well uh, happens on the 26th of February, and that is our uh, oral history sessions. Um, essentially, what we do is we bring uh, people who have a story to tell about Newmarket. Uh, granted, they're usually older, uh, are some of our older citizens, and they come in and we record them and they talk about growing up in Newmarket, their remembrances of Newmarket, their remembrances of, of people that they met that impressed them along the way. Uh, so, it, you know, it, it's pretty cool. Um, we, uh, back in 2012, uh, we recorded nine uh, people. Uh, interesting enough, a number of those people are no longer with us. So, you know, this may very well be the last time that they had an opportunity to tell people about uh, growing up in Newmarket in their lives. So, uh, I think it was a terrific idea, and uh, we're now going to be uh, be uh, focusing on recording our own uh, videos uh, for oral history. Again, the 26th of February, we're going to be going to a recording studio, and we're going to be recording people that we have on our list. But if there are people out there who know of somebody who they think should be interviewed, or perhaps you want to be interviewed, uh, you know, feel free to get a hold of me. Uh, you know and uh, let me know and uh, we'll arrange something. Uh, if you are the type of person who doesn't want to go out to a sound studio, uh, we can come to your, to your home uh, if you wish and, uh, and record your, uh, your story. Uh, we do have facility to do that. It's perhaps a little less ideal because of lighting and other things, but uh, you know, we will accommodate you. Uh, I also want to put a plug in for the library who uh, uh, on the third floor of the library here in Newmarket, uh, they have a, uh, I guess you would call it a, a, a video room uh, where you can go into. They have professional recording equipment. They have a, a green screen. Uh, so uh, you can go up there and you can record your, uh, your story for us, uh, which would be tremendous. And again, if there's anybody out there who has existing video that they would like to, uh, to share with us, uh, you know, we'd love it. Uh, the people who come to, to our evenings love it, and uh, we're going to start actually uh, uh, broadcasting it live here on uh, uh, online. So uh, you know maybe uh, that will appeal to you, uh, having the town uh, hear about your life story. Uh, we also, as I said, have a, a YouTube station. Um, it is uh, located at the, the, the History Hound. Um, it's a channel dedicated to these videos. And uh, so I welcome anybody who perhaps can't make it out to the, uh, to the vintage video nights uh, that the day after, um, you know, we post those videos that we, we, uh, that we all watched the night before. So you don't miss anything. You can take a look and, uh, and see the videos. Uh, People often ask me how many videos do we have. Well, you know, currently we ha we have uh, probably upwards of 700 hours of, of video. Uh, not all of it has been cleaned up, uh, but uh, we do have a quite a bit of video. Uh, the interesting thing is that we have video on on many people from the 60s and 70s who have since passed. So I think a, a number of uh, uh, families are are still in the area, and they probably would be most interested in seeing. Uh, uh, their loved ones, uh, you know, uh, when they were interviewed back uh, back then, and uh, even looking at the the changing fashion is is, is pretty interesting. Uh, you know how people dressed, uh, the people's opinions back then, as opposed to to what they are now. I think it's uh, you know it's most interesting. I also do a series of lectures uh, in the Newmarket uh, area. Uh, so those will be coming up starting in uh, March. Uh, some of the topics that we'll be covering, as I said, is Paddy Town. We'll be also doing uh, uh, a presentation on the military camp uh, that we had here in Newmarket. Uh, I'm going to be taking out in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be taking out uh, my camera, uh, amateur uh, 
videographer that I am and uh, doing some interviews with uh, merchants on Main Street. I've always been fascinated by Main Street uh, and because I have pictures of Main Street, uh, oh certainly dating back to the early uh, 1900s. Uh, I think it'd be interesting to, to talk a little bit about the history of the building, uh, talk about the people that are currently uh, merchants in those buildings now, and relate the two. Maybe a little trip down memory lane for a lot of you who uh, were growing up in Newmarket and spent a, a great deal of time on Main Street. Unfortunately, nowadays people don't uh, go to Main Street as much, but uh, perhaps uh, once we start showing the delights of Main Street, uh, you know, people will begin to flock back to Main Street, which I certainly hope uh, is the case. How do you get a hold of me? Well, uh, there's several ways. Uh, you can uh, visit uh, my uh, Facebook page uh, at, uh, at the History Hound. Actually, I guess on uh, Facebook it's called the Newmarket History Hound. Uh, so you can take a look at uh, my uh, Facebook page uh, uh, under the Newmarket History Hound. Uh, you can email me. Uh, the email is uh, thehistoryhound at rogers.com. Uh, send me your suggestions. Uh, if you want to be interviewed for the Oral History Project, uh, you know, let me know or you know somebody who does want to be. If you've got videos that you, that you want to uh, uh, pass along to us uh, so that we can share with the public, uh, I'd be most happy to hear uh, from you about that, that part of the project. Uh, we also welcome, uh, obviously, photos. We'll make a copy of the photo for you, give you back the original, of course, um, and we'll add that to our library. Um, those photos are posted uh, on uh, on the Facebook page. I have a, a website as well, uh, also called The History Hound. Uh, you can see there's a continuity to the names of all of these uh, medias. Uh, so uh, I have a, a web page uh, called The History Hound. It's a little less developed, uh, but there you know, I'm, I'm trying to, to uh, do a better job of communicating through the website, and the website is the, the History Hound. Um, Dot ca so you know I welcome you to go there uh, some of the videos are on there uh, there's also I run a blog so you can also take a look at the blog uh, and take a look at some of the articles uh, there uh, one of the things I posted there uh, is a uh, a copy of a document uh, that many people got when they went to the uh, to the high school reunion back in the uh, uh, 1980s uh, of uh, Newmarket High uh, I've posted, uh, I've, I cleaned up and, uh, and reposted it, so you can go on there uh, under the blogs and uh, take a look at the history of Newmarket High as, as compiled by uh, my uncle, uh, George Lusby. Uh, in the fall, we're going to be doing a, um, uh, a series of, uh, of art uh, shows at the, uh, at the museum. And... Uh, so that'll be pretty exciting. Uh, my uncle George did sketches of Newmarket uh, for many, many years, probably dating back to the to the 30s. Uh, many of his uh, uh, sketches are are buildings that no longer exist. Uh, in many cases, uh, there are no pictures or or very few pictures of the buildings. So you know it's pretty cool. So we're going to be doing that in September, uh, doing a, a show for him. Uh, I'm hoping along with the show that we're going to be able to put together a uh, uh, a book, a picture book, uh, I guess they call it a coffee table book, uh, of his sketches uh, for those people who want a keepsake, uh, want to have pictures of some of these old buildings. Uh, for many people, you know, he did pictures of, uh, of your house or, or your place of business, so, you know, it might be kind of interesting to have that. Uh, the sales, uh, uh, any profits from the sales would, uh, would go to a local charity, so you know, we're looking forward to that as well. So I hope, uh, you know, you get involved in one of our programs. Uh, again, I'm, I'm the History Hound, uh, and I hope you visit, uh, you know, uh, one of our uh, uh, medias to, to take a look at what we're doing. Uh, unfortunately, um, many people uh, that I grew up uh, uh, listening to is, is uh, Experts on, new, on local new market history uh, have passed or, or are getting older, and uh, there aren't many people who are stepping up to to pick up the gauntlet, I guess you'd say, and uh, uh, and move forward into the future. Um, so, 
my friend uh, Wes Plater has, has been writing books and has been doing uh, uh, lecturing around Newmarket, uh, but he's got his, his own business, so he can't be out all the time doing this. And so I'm sort of trying to step into the breach and, uh, and uh, get this information out to people, uh, both people who have lived here for, for a while and, and people who are new to Newmarket and, uh, and want to know something about the place that they, they chose as their, as their home or their new home. So uh, I welcome you all to get involved in our projects and uh, please contact me again at the, at the historyhound at rogers.com and uh, we'll hook up and see if we can't uh, uh, work together to present uh, any information that you might have to the uh, population at large. So have a good evening and uh, we'll talk to you sometime along uh, the way. Take care. Bye-bye.